Welcome back, fame seekers. Get ready to dive headfirst into the juiciest headlines and gripping stories that are shaking up the world today. I'm your host, Emma, and this is The Fame, where we uncover the truth behind the glitz, the glamour, and the jaw-dropping drama that keeps you coming back for more. First up on our radar, the never-ending saga of the Duggar family, can you believe it? Anna Duggar, still standing strong amidst the storm, plans to expand her family once again, despite the trials and tribulations she's faced. Stick around as we explore the latest twist in this ongoing saga. Next, we're turning our attention to Ginger Duggar, who's always making waves. Join Join us as we dissect her latest headline-grabbing move, speaking at a conference that's raising more than a few eyebrows. Trust us, this is one story you won't want to miss. But that's not all, folks. Prepare to be captivated as we unravel a truly bizarre yet utterly captivating tale. Picture this. Unsuspecting coffee shop goers stumble upon a surprising scene in the restroom featuring none other than the Duggar sisters themselves. How did they find themselves in this impromptu worship session? We'll break it down, and you won't believe the reactions and speculations flooding social media. And finally, buckle up as we take a trip down memory lane. We're delving into two decades of the Duggar family's tumultuous ride through reality TV fame. From explosive debuts to scandals, controversies, and heartbreak, we're dissecting the highs and lows of this unforgettable dynasty. So grab your popcorn, settle in, and get ready for a wild ride. This is the fame where the truth always steals the spotlight. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell, because you won't want to miss a single moment of the action. Let's get started. Following her husband Josh Duggar's imprisonment, former Counting On star Anna Duggar has largely withdrawn from social media, prompting speculation about her future plans. Although she's kept a low profile since her husband's arrest on charges related to child sexual abuse material, recent discussions among Redditors suggest that Anna may still be contemplating expanding her family once Josh is released. Anna's absence from social media, including the deletion of her Instagram account, has made it difficult for fans to keep up with her. Before her departure from the online sphere, she staunchly defended her husband's innocence. Reports indicate that Anna rarely rarely participates in Duggar family gatherings, despite reportedly still residing in the family compound with their seven children. Sources suggest tension between Anna and certain Duggar family members, particularly those who have voiced opposition to Josh's actions. Speculation about Anna's desire for more children has arisen within online communities, with some noting her history of frequent pregnancies. However, it's been over two and a half years since her last childbirth, leading some to question whether she feels frustrated witnessing her relative relatives and in-laws' ongoing pregnancies and childbirth experiences. Nevertheless, as Anna approaches 43, the prospect of further pregnancies may seem less likely. Josh Duggar's recent legal maneuvers, including a petition to the Supreme Court, have garnered attention, though some observers believe such efforts are futile and a waste of resources. While reports suggest that Josh receives regular visits from some of his siblings, Anna's absence from these gatherings has fueled speculation about the state of their marriage. Despite the uncertainty surrounding their future, Anna Duggar's apparent determination to continue expanding her family remains a topic of interest among fans and observers alike. Next, we're diving headfirst into the swirling controversy surrounding Ginger Duggar, who's set to speak at a conference hosted at the Ark Encounter. But hold on to your seats, folks, because this conference seems to give off some seriously heavy, girl-defined vibes, leaving many scratching their heads and others shaking theirs in disbelief. So what's the scoop? Well, Ginger and Jeremy Vuolo have apparently co-authored a book titled How to Leave One Toxic Cult for Another, which has somehow found its way onto the shelves of none other than the Dollar Tree. Now, if that doesn't set the tone for the level of discourse we're about to witness, I don't know what does. But wait, it gets better. Attendees are in for a real treat with Ginger's clever wordplay on the feminine mistake. Unfortunately, it seems that a good portion of the audience might miss out on the pun, leaving us feeling a bit sorry for them. Now, let's address the elephant in the room, the glaring hypocrisy and bigotry that seems to permeate this entire event. From pushing restrictive abortion policies to attempting to limit birth control access and even floating the idea of abolishing no-fault divorces, it's clear that these speakers are out to push their agenda. 
no matter the cost. And let's not forget the thinly veiled transphobia and ignorance on display here. While they may try to dress it up as scientific, their selective use of facts only serves to highlight their true intentions, to spread hate and discrimination against marginalized communities. But perhaps what's most frustrating is the realization that these hateful ideologies aren't just confined to the conference room. They're actively being pushed in legislatures across the country thanks to well-funded lobbying efforts. So, while some may view Ginger as a beacon of freedom and liberation, the reality is far darker. In conclusion, it's important to shine a light on the dangerous rhetoric being peddled at events like these. So whether you're a staunch supporter of human rights or simply someone who values basic decency, let's continue to call out bigotry wherever we see it. After all, in a world that's already fraught with division, the last thing we need is to give hate a platform. And next, today's topic takes us into the unexpected realm of a coffee shop bathroom. Picture this. You walk in expecting a quick pit stop, and instead you stumble upon a scene straight out of a reality TV show. The Duggar family, yes, those Duggar, engaged in what seems like a bathroom worship session. Now, before we delve into the details, let's take a step back and set the stage. The Duggar family, known for their conservative values and large brood, has been a subject of fascination for many. From their unique lifestyle to their reality TV fame, they've garnered quite the following, and sometimes curiosity gets the better of us. So, imagine the surprise when patrons of a coffee shop find themselves face to face with not just one, but multiple. Duggar sisters, engaging in what can only be described as an impromptu worship session. From Jennifer to Johanna, it's a sight that leaves many scratching their heads and reaching for their phones to capture the moment. But what exactly led to this unusual encounter? Well, it seems like a combination of factors, from a need for relief both physical and spiritual, to perhaps a touch of boredom or simply a desire to showcase their faith in an unconventional setting. Now, let's break down some of the reactions that flooded social media in response to this unexpected Exciting. Some were bemused, others downright perplexed and a few couldn't resist making jokes at the Duggar expense. From comments about their resemblance to a choir, to speculations about potential matchmaking, the internet had no shortage of opinions. But beyond the humor and speculation lies a deeper question, what does this incident say about the intersection of faith, fame, and public perception? It's a reminder that even the most private moments can become public fodder in today's interconnected world. So, as we wrap up this intriguing tale from the coffee shop bathroom, let's remember that sometimes Times, reality truly is stranger than fiction. Whether you're a fan of the Duggar or not, one thing's for sure, this is a moment that won't soon be forgotten. Finally, we're taking a trip down memory lane, a lane that's littered with prairie dresses, patriarchal rules, and a family that's managed to captivate audiences for two whole decades. That's right, buckle up folks, because it's been a wild 20 years since the train wreck known as the Duggar first blasted onto TLC. For those of you who've been living under a rock, or perhaps just steering clear of this particular reality TV circus, the Duggar burst onto our screens with all the force of a tornado in 2004. With their ever-expanding brood and strict fundamentalist beliefs, they quickly became the center of attention, whether you loved them, hated them, or simply couldn't tear your eyes away from the spectacle. Now, as we mark two decades since their debut, it's time for a little reflection. We've gathered your thoughts, memories, and musings on the Duggar dynasty. And let me tell you, they're as varied as they are vivid. From childhood memories of Discovery Health Channel marathons to cringing at those infamous prairie dresses, it seems everyone has a tale to tell about the Duggar. But it's not all lighthearted nostalgia. Oh no, this family's journey has been riddled with controversy, scandal, and more skeletons in the closet than a haunted house. From the horrifying revelations about eldest son Josh's actions to the eerie sense that something just wasn't right behind those plastered-on smiles, the Duggar have left a lasting impact on both reality TV and our collective consciousness. And yet, amidst the chaos and the cringe, there are moments of genuine heartbreak. As one viewer pointed out, seeing young Joy in that old photo serves as a stark reminder of the childhood stolen from her and her siblings, overshadowed by the dark cloud of their brother's actions. It's a sobering thought amidst the spectacle and the sensationalism. So, as we pause to mark this milestone in Duggar history, let's not forget the lessons learned along the way. Let's remember that behind the headlines and the hashtags are real people, 
real lives, and real pain. And perhaps, just perhaps, let's hope that as we move forward, we can leave behind the prairie dresses and the patriarchal rules and focus instead on building a world where every child has the chance to truly thrive. And on that note, we'll leave you with a question, who's been around since the beginning? Cast your vote, share your thoughts, and let's keep the conversation going. Because whether you love them or loathe them, there's no denying that the Duggar have left an indelible mark on our cultural landscape. And that's a wrap for today's episode of The Fame. We've peeled back the layers on some of the most gripping headlines and captivating stories, leaving no stone unturned. From the ongoing Duggar family saga to the eyebrow-raising events surrounding Ginger and Anna, it's been a roller coaster of emotions and revelations. And let's not forget the bizarre encounter in the coffee shop restroom that had everyone talking, but fear not, fame seekers, because we'll be back soon with even more juicy updates, shocking revelations, and scandalous gossip that you crave. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel and have those notification bells ringing, because you won't want to miss out on the next installment of the fame. Until then, stay curious, stay informed, and keep chasing that fame. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.